life happens and we have to adapt to change. How do we do that without losing our minds? Well, it really is all about how you're feeling spiritually and if you are resilient there. So we have to renew our spirit. As believers, we have an advantage over anybody else. Hi, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and it's my pleasure to bring you affirmations. And today we're going to talk about embracing spiritual renewal. Why? Because that's so important. If we're going to be durable, if we're going to have that palm tree anointing, like we say in Florida, I bend, but I don't break. The only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I'm on that solid rock, if I've got everything together because I'm trusting God, because I believe that my future is going to be brighter. It's going to be better than my former. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, I know it in my heart that God has a great plan for me and it's going to come out and work out for my good. It might not look like it, but God's got an ultimate plan. And I want to get to that Genesis 50 and 20 that says you might have meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. So I need to renew my spirit. And sometimes life can beat us down that we feel depleted. We get discouraged or we could be, but when we put our hope in God, when we remind ourselves of the promises that he has made, when we receive those promises, when we grab hold onto it, then we keep moving forward. So today let's jump into the affirmations to embrace spiritual renewal and get our minds right. Crown adjusting affirmations to move forward. Let's go on it. Crown adjusting affirmations to embrace spiritual renewal. I am being renewed every day. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I am nourished by God's word daily. My mind is renewed. I think like Jesus. My heart is healed. I release unforgiveness. I am like a palm tree. I bend, but I don't break. I am uniquely durable. Resilience is my middle name. I am growing daily. Quantum leaps is my norm. I run and I don't get weary. I am fortified by the word of God. All the answers I need are in God's word. My spirit is built up as the Holy Spirit speaks to me. My faith is renewed. All promises in God's word are mine. I am at peace. I know God is looking out for me. My future is predestined. I am always relevant. I exceed expectations. God's spirit empowers me. I make moves with divine accuracy. I am divinely connected, anointed, and assigned. I trust God and I am confident in my outcome. I am blessed 
beyond measure. I am in the center of God's divine will. My present is a culmination of all the blessings of my past. I'm exactly where I am supposed to be. I am uniquely gifted by God and I walk in it. I hear from God. He orders my steps. I am divinely directed. My spiritual ears are poised to hear. My heart is excited for what's next. Well, welcome back. I am so excited about the fact that we are empowered by the Holy Spirit. We infuse him not only into our personal life, but also our professional life, our business. If you're an entrepreneur, that's something you really need. If you are a business owner in any way, shape, or form, you need God's guiding light, his direction, his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding is what I always ask for. You need his presence in that place that you are operating in most often. Actually, we need them every single day, to be honest with you. So when we're leading others, we want God to be leading us. When we're looking at transitioning, coming out of one position and going into another, we want God directing us. When we are recognizing we're bringing on partners and we've got somebody that's coming in to connection with us, we want the divine connections and the divine assignments, and we need to know the difference. So what I would like to offer you today is an opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me. It's a vision breakthrough session. In that, we're going to figure out the blueprint of what's next in your life, but we're going to make sure that we infuse God in the place. In that conversation, it's going to be, Lord, speak to us today so that we can move forward in a better position tomorrow. I believe that when we ask God in, we're gonna be more profitable, we're going to be more at peace, and we're going to perform even better. So this means that you're gonna have all that you need and you're gonna know which way to go. You can go to my website, that's shantahaines.com forward slash vision and get on that call. Schedule it according to what is going to work best for your schedule. I look forward to speaking with you then. So let's go ahead and seal the deal with the prayer now that we have been spiritually renewed or we're reminding ourselves that it happens each and every day that we ask. So let's bow. Most gracious and heavenly father, God, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you that you are our advocate. You are our guardian. You are our stay. You are our strong tower. You are everything that we could ever need. And so Lord, we recognize that your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding is going to empower and impact us. We recognize father that if we come to you boldly, like you say, we can ask for whatever we need and it shall be supplied according to your will. That sometimes when we ask, you give us better all the time. You give us more. We don't even know sometimes what to ask for, but God, we thank you that you've already got a great plan for us, that you will do exceeding and abundantly above all we ever hope, ask, or think. You said it's according to the power that works on the inside. So we build up ourselves on our most holy faith. We acknowledge, Father, that we don't know everything, but you know all things. And because of that, we're just asking for you to be present in our lives and in your presence is the fullness of joy. Give us joy and fulfillment, Father, in the name of Jesus. But you said also at your right hand are pleasures evermore. We want every single one of those pleasures, every single one of your promises to come to pass. And we're believing it today. We're standing on faith, standing on business, that that is exactly what you're going to do for each and every one of us today. Thank you, Lord. 
for our professional lives, for our personal lives, for those connected with us. We're going to continue to lift your name on high, giving you all the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due your name. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, God bless. <laughs> Oh, we are renewed. We've got power and it's not just us and we never do it alone. Well, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries. I'm helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. God bless.